Hey, what's going on guys? It's Necron370 here, bringing you another episode in our Exiled Lands series. Uh, so today what we're actually going to do is take a look at my house. I know that sounds a little boring, but this is actually my entry for the tiny house contest that uh, Funcom is running for their uh, Conan game. Uh, if you haven't done so already, there will be a link in the description below uh, about what you need to do to follow the rules and uh, place your submission. Uh, all participants will receive a um, DLC of their choice, and then there's a runner-up prize and a grand prize. I think there's 10 slots for the runner-up and one grand prize. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't done so already, put your entry in now. So first off, we're going to go take a look at my entrance seating area where the campfire is and our Yeti. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then our doorbell, obviously. Coming over to the side here, this is our little crafting area. I wanted to have a canopy kind of thing coming off the roof, but I didn't know if it would uh, compromise what I was trying to do for the contest. So I just wore one anyway. Um, but yeah, this is where, you know, you smelt and you craft your uh, metal tools and that. And over on this side, we have the drying racks. So, without any further ado, let's go inside. And here we have my home. All right, it's quaint and small, but it, it fits the description. So I'm gonna go give you guys a little tour about what I did here. Uh, over here we have the uh, like note station where you you know sit and you sit and scratch down your ideas and all that, and you have a nice little picture to look at. It's all pretty like. Up on the wall here we have one of the sh uh, legendary shields I got from a box. And then we have the Lumerian shield and Lumerian sword. And then these are two that I just discovered in the codes. So up here we got the soul spell. Interesting. And... Come on. There we go. And we got the uh, white white blade so that's what's displaying there at the entrance here we have my trusty sword that I also have in my inventory the annihilator <laughs> but I wanted it to be like you know I come in and this is where I hang up my weapon and yeah you know, I put my boots beside this thing and oh look some pretty little pictures a bear I killed more weapons we'll get to in a minute. Not done with downstairs. All right, so before we get to the kitchen, we'll come over here. So this is the uh, armor's uh, crafting area. This is where I'll dismantle things and make my armor glorious. And then we have my table set for four people, even though a lot of the time I'm alone. But you never know when you'll have company. And then over here, I. Uh, you gotta have booze. Y you gotta. You gotta have booze. And then my kitchen. Very nice, right? I know my dishes are kind of piled up, but I don't want to do dishes. Nobody wants to do dishes. Who the hell wants to do dishes? But yeah, I, I like this. I, you know, I added a couple things onto the stove top, made it look lived in, used. I, I like it. It's very, it's very nice. But that's gonna do it with all down here. You know, I've got my trophies and that. But we'll move on upstairs. First, we'll check out this weapon rack here and we'll showcase off what weapons I'm actually having on display. Oh, come on.
So, first off, we have the Sword of Krom. That's the one at the very bottom, actually. And then in the middle, we have the Lying Bastard Sword. Very cool looking. And then the Predatory Blade. Ooh. And it looks like all of these are found in the Unnamed City. Uh, I, again, I got them from the codes. Now, this here, I'm not really sure where they actually came from. Uh, I found these, uh, again, in the admin codes, uh, and I was curious, thought they'd be really cool to put up. But these are black blood hatchet, sickle, pick, and there was a skinning knife as well. I have no idea how you actually get this in the game. Uh, so if anybody does know, uh, please leave a comment below, and I definitely will investigate, and you'll probably see a video on it. And, uh, if you did leave the comment, you'll definitely get some credit for it. But, obviously, we have my storage cupboards for clothing and etc. And a little painting here. And then this is my sitting thinking area where I can talk to the awakened staff, because, you know, he's so talkative. I haven't seen such a mess since the fall of Volusia. And what? look, the archivist. Oh, no, there's no archivist here. But this is where I just sit and chill anyways. And then over here we have my bedroom. Yeah, I got a bunch of pictures and a ton of pillows. Look at the pillows. Ooh, yeah. Looks so comfy, right? Just jump on in. But then we have weapon rack and weapon rack. So that while I'm sleeping, I can be reminded of my victories. But let's showcase what these are. We have the male storm. It's a hammer. Reach of the red mother, which is that bow. And then an ancient Lumerian axe. So, very neat. Actually, where did I find the bow? A, a bow crafted of exquisite dragon bone. Interesting. Oh, so it's probably a specially crafted item. Okay. And then on this weapon rack, we have... Dervico's voice. Because I can pronounce anything perfectly every time. Um, I'm pretty sure that's one of the gods. Uh, it's probably one of her bows. And then we have a little Marian trident, which is a very deadly weapon. And then a hooked sword. Yes, very much so. Alright, but that is going to do it for our look at my tiny home. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I really hope this gave you some ideas for yourselves, so that uh, you can enter the contest as well, and get yourself some DLC and enjoy Conan even more. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of our Conan series. I do plan on getting more into the Conan series. I want to make sure I put one up every single week for you guys. Um, but right now, I'm just starting into the series, and I have a lot on my plate being this uh, with my summer work schedule. Uh, but anyways, until next time, everybody, I've been Necron370. Stay frosty, my friends.